1.2d, operations with integers, add with the same sign. Adding and subtracting integers. You keep the sign with the number that comes after it. What this means is that the sign in front of a number, such as dash 3 or negative 3, means we keep this negative with the 3. One thing to address at the beginning is what happens if there are double signs. By a double sign, we mean somewhere that has two signs separated by a parenthesis. When there are two signs, it may be confusing as to what the question is asking. Therefore, we have a way of addressing this. When there are double signs, we get rid of them using the rules that we used for multiplication. Therefore, if I have a positive and a negative next to each other, I turn this into a negative because a positive times a negative is a negative. I therefore can rewrite this problem as 3 minus 4. In the second example shown here, we see that there are two negative symbols. When I have two negative symbols, remember that it becomes a positive. This means I can rewrite this problem as 3 plus 4. The thing to remember is if there are double signs, you must first clear those before moving on with the problem. To visualize this, you can think of the idea that the negative 2 is literally two negative symbols and that the negative 3 is three negative symbols. The sign in the center is asking us to add these two together. If I add up all of these symbols, I would have a total of five negative symbols, therefore giving me the answer negative five. When I add with the same sign, sometimes the saying can help with the problem. The saying used here is same sign add and keep. What this is saying is if the two numbers such as negative 2 and negative 3 have the same sign being that they are both negative, we add those two numbers together, the 2 and the 3 making 5, and keep the sign that they had, which was negative. Example 1 asks us negative 7 plus a negative 4. As you can see, there is a double sign. We must address this before going further. When there is a positive and a negative, remember that it becomes a negative. This means that we can rewrite this as negative 7 minus 4. These two numbers have the same sign, being that they are both negative. We therefore add the two numbers together, making 11, and keep the sign, which was negative. Therefore, the answer is negative 11. In the second example, we once again have two symbols together or a double sign. When we have the double sign, remember we must eliminate that sign. Therefore, we would then have negative 6 minus 8 because a positive and a negative results in a negative. We now can do our addition or combining problem in which we add 
the two numbers and keep the sign. Since 6 and 8 add to 14, the answer is 14. We then look at their sign and see that it was negative. As we saw in these two examples, you must eliminate the double sign before doing the problem and assessing if they have the same sign or different. After eliminating the double sign, if they result in the same sign, you add the two numbers together and keep the sign on the number.